All right, your first genetic code problem. Before we go to the actual chart, we're going to kind of set the problem up. The way the problem will be set up is like this. You'll be given some DNA codons. And what I would do is draw a line between the codons like this. And so, um, you might uh, just pause and write those down and then uh, come back and let's continue. What's the first thing we do to solve a uh, genetic code problem? We first do what transcription does and that is uh, uh, make copies, so to speak, of the DNA codons in the form of messenger RNA codons. And so, uh, remember messenger RNA is not at the golf course, it's at the university golf course. So we have A's, U's, G's, and C's. And so where for DNA replication, you put a T. For messenger, messenger RNA, you'd put a U. And so what would the messenger RNA codons be? Uh, you might try writing these down if you want to and pause it and see if you get the right answer. See if I can get the right answer. Okay, T, A, A, U, not T, but U, C, G. And this is C, C, C and uh, C, G, T, A, T, A, A, U, T, A, C, G. All right. And so those would be the corresponding messenger RNA codons. Well then, uh, translation, translation then um, matches up those codons, those messenger RNA codons, with a corresponding anti-codon. Let's see, let's see if I get that. So for every codon, there's a corresponding anti-codon. And so this is simply RNA to RNA. So that's very simple. That's A's to U's and G's to C's. So A U U A G C. And then G G G C U U. And then U A A U G C. Now let's see if I did that right. I've got my little cheat sheet here. UAC, GG, oh, what did I do? This is GGG, what am I thinking? Of course it's GGG. Of course what they taught me to say in teacher school uh, about 40, 50 years ago is I was just checking to see who was paying attention. Oh my goodness, yeah, GGG. And then uh, CUU and AUC, okay, I got them right. Now we are ready to go to our genetic code chart. And so I'm actually going to stop the video right now and we're going to take a look at the genetic code chart. Then we're going to come in and solve this last line with the genetic code chart. So that's it for this. I'm not erasing it. I'll be back and finishing it. But I'd like to have a little introductory video, explanatory video on the genetic code chart. All right.